Welcome to lesson 20, exercise one. Here is the problem that we want to do. Write a program that uses a for loop to print out the alphabet from A to Z as follows. So we have A, B, C, D, and so on until we get to Z. Note that there's a tab between these two columns. Uppercase letter is on the left, lowercase letter is on the right. So really we want to print this alphabet capital A to Z on the left and lowercase a to Z spaced apart like that. So we need to use our knowledge of for loops, our knowledge of print formatting to get this tab here, and we need to use our knowledge of the character data type that we've been talking about. So here is our program, and here's our main method. The first thing I'm going to do is create a character variable. I'm going to call it uppercase. Again, notice I've got the first letter lowercase and the second word uppercase. That's a standard way you name variables in Java and many other programming languages. And then I have another variable named lowercase. So what I'm going to do is first say that the uppercase letter is equal to A. Notice I've got the A surrounded in single quotes and the lowercase variables equal to lowercase A surrounded by single quotes. And then I'm going to create a for loop. I've created an index variable called I. I'm going from 1 to 26 because there's 26 letters in the alphabet and I'm incrementing by 1 each time I go through this loop. And so when I come through it the first time, when i is equal to 1, I'm going to print out the uppercase letter, which is what's contained in this variable, and then I've got a plus and a tab here in quotes, because I'm tabbing over to the second column, and then I'm going to print whatever's contained in the lowercase variable, which initially is, is a lowercase a. And then after that happens, I'm going to increment the uppercase variable and increment the lowercase variable. Now, you know, it may look a little bit weird that you can increment a letter, but really this letter is just a, a code that's uh, uh, it's called a Unicode. And so every letter of the alphabet and every letter of all languages has a corresponding code. And so even though it is represented as a letter on the screen here, it's really just a digit or a set of numbers behind the scenes. So I can increment the uppercase, which will go from capital A to capital B. I can increment the lowercase, which will be from lowercase a to lowercase b. So every time I go through this loop, I'm printing it out with a tab between, and then I'm incrementing each one of them. So I'm doing this 26 times. So let's go ahead and hit save, and let's hit print, or I should say run. And what we have here is a to z and a to z with a tab apart uppercase and lowercase. Kind of a cool problem because it, it forces you to understand about character variables. It lets you use a for loop that has a block uh, there with multiple things that are going on inside of there, and you have to use your knowledge of the print statement to get the output formatted on the screen, the way in which, uh, the way in which it was specified in the problem.